Hey everyone, I have a pretty special beer here. OEC's Cool Ship Lager. This is now like the only regularly distributed beer from this brewery OEC. A lot of backstory I could give you on this, I won't. I'll just say that this beer was cooled for one hour in their copper cool ship after it was mashed. And that's the old-fashioned way of doing things, is getting your hot wort and throwing it in a shallow vat to cool it off. Um, and they're doing it because it'll add some slight wild yeast uh, and funky fermentation to it, just like their sour beers. OEC mostly does sour barrel-aged beers. And the whole cool ship thing is especially known in Lambic Brewing, but way back in the day before modern refrigeration and everything, I think cool ships or things like those were used a lot. But this is also open fermented, um, too. And then it was, of course, lagered for several months, like any good lager should be, stored at cool temperatures. This is 5.2% alcohol. And we'll just do it. They say Czech style blonde lager. Call it, you can call it a Pilsner, I think. And I'm using my freezer mug here because it's too hot and no one likes a warm Pilsner. So it's, you can still see the color through there, I think. Okay, it's got, it's not super straw pale color. It's, it's, a, it's got kind of a golden hue to it. Not as dark as um, Pilsner Kvel, which is triple decocted. You know, has a, a triple triple boiled. I don't know how to shorten the, the description of a decoction. This one is uh, double decocted, so you get some color in there. Head looks pretty nice. And it smells quite pilsnery. And quite malty. The de double decoction is giving it a lot of a bread crusty vanilla wafer sort of note. This is not um, yeah, a German style pilsner that's paler and drier and hoppier. I'm not getting a huge amount of hops from this, but this did you know, take a lot of time to produce. Several months of lagering makes it sound like it's more than a few, so four months or something, but that's a long time. You're gonna lose some hop quality, some of that. I wonder if the open fermentation is a little bit more vigorous and you'll lose some hop aromas and volatile compounds during that. But it's not really funky. There's just something extra to it. It still does have a little bit of an herbal note to it in earth, but it's not bright and fresh herbs and lemon zesty or anything like that. But it's not quite the intense age oakiness that you get from um, Poetica, Hill Farmsteads, um, Pilsner, that they age in in fooders for like three months. They don't they don't do oak aging with this one. I don't believe. Yeah, there's just a hint of an acidity in there, ghostly, and lots of bready bread crust, doughiness, toasty, very, very toasty, actually. Not quite caramel, but almost hints of toffee, which you would not expect. Very nice mouthfeel, almost silky. Pretty low in the bitterness, I'd say. And a pretty big mouthfeel. 5.2 is kind of strong for a Pilsner. I kind of wish they would do a, uh, a session version of this. We could take it down to like 4% or something. A Dzitka or Tenor. Um, but it's really, really nice and done very well, especially for a brewery, for a brewery that's like, they don't do lagers at all. Mm -hmm. Easy to drink for sure, but I still 
I'm a weirdo, and I think I like bright, fresh, lower alcohol lagers the most. Like I had Hill Farm says Poetica next to Mary, which is the fresh version of it, and I like that more. Just that that deeper, earthier, maltier quality in a Pilsner. I like a little bit of that, but I still want it to just be really drinkable. Lots of lots of intense noble hop character. This one doesn't have a huge amount of it. Um, that's that's my favorite. So I'm I probably prefer German style Pilsners a little bit more, but there are plenty of Czech ones out there that I love. Pilsner Fell is very good, of course, but Notch is the standard. That's um, a 4.4% alcohol Czech Pilsner. So I just like the ones that are lower alcohol, probably. Well, yeah, there's a little bit of a fruitiness in here. This isn't quite as fruity and all out funky as um, Allagash's Three Penny or True Penny Pilsner. That one, they literally just add some some wild beer to. This one isn't that. This is more of an old, the old fashioned way they would have made these beers. Except, in, except back in the 1800s, this probably would have gotten some oak exposure. But this is, it's getting a little bit spicier, but there is a, like a, an almost an ale like fruitiness to this, a little bit of an apricot type thing. Um, which I guess you're getting from the wild yeast exposure, which those are probably ale yeast or something like an ale yeast. So, in terms of rating for this, it's really well made and very unique and very special. And I like it a lot. And you're probably not going to buy it that much. Um, this might be really good blended with a milder Pilsner or a macro beer. <laughs> and it'll just clobber the, a flavorless macro beer and it'll cover that up. But it's, it's good. It's probably, yeah, 4.25 beer. Bye.